when you're pouring a sterile solution from a bottle into a medicine cup, there's a certain way you have to hold the bottle. And that's with the label in the palm of the hand to keep it sterile. When the nurse is pouring sterile solution, the bottle should be held with the label where? In the palm of your hand. The one method of destroying pathogens and their spore is known as surgical sepsis, known as sterilization. The one method of destroying pathogens and their spore is sterilizing. All right, when you have a blood spill, you clean it up with a certain type of solution. What is that? Bleach. Water with 10% bleach. The body fluid is spilled. The nurse will first don gloves, then wipe it up with a paper towel, cloth towel, 10% bleach solution, mop, and warm sudsy water. <laughs> If you have an infection, what cells in our body are going to be elevated? White blood cells. Okay, when assessing a patient for signs of infection, the lab result that the nurse recognizes as an indicator of infection is an increase in white blood cell count. So if you have an increase in white blood cells, it means you have an infection. Washing is the most important measure for interrupting the infectious process. We keep hearing that, we keep hearing that. When the nurse implements measures such as hand washing and the use of sterile supplies, the result in this measures shorten patient's hospital stay, improve the patient's sense of self-worth, reduce the risk of infection, reduce the amount of nursing care needed. They reduce the risk of infection. When you sterilize instruments, you usually use this machine that's called the autoclave. The autoclave does what? Sterilize. Yes, but what and how does it sterilize? Bacteria by using what? Steam. steam. Under pressure steam. steam. So, when sterilizing instruments for the operating room, the most dependable and practical method is to use chemical solutions, boiling water, steam under pressure, dry heat. Steam, steam, under, steam pressure. under pressure because that's what the autoclave does. Joseph Lister. Mr. Lister is just like Listerine. And what does Listerine do? They kill germs. So, Mr. Lister invented the aseptic technique because the aseptic technique is the technique used to kill germs. Joseph Lister contributed to medical practice by the introduction of the aseptic technique. Aseptic or aseptic? Aseptic. Yeah, Mr. Lister. Listerine. Listerine. Okay, Rocky Mountain Fever, how do you get it? Mosquito. Tick. Tick. Malaria, mosquito. Rocky Mountain Fever, tick. Huh? <laughs> it's actually a deer tick. Oh, where did you get it from? Yeah. Uh-huh, just like Lyme disease. 
Yes, yeah, T-I-C-K. You know the blood suckers? The nurse instructs a worried mother of a child with Rocky Mountain spotted fever that the disease is a serious disease contracted from the bite of a tick. That's terrible. Because ticks once they suck enough blood out of whatever animal or person that they're on, will dislodge their head and start to travel to a new person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Country people like Missouri, Kansas, them kids come in to the doctor, you pull the ticks off their head. Wow. So they're farm people. So they deal with cows. They deal with, I'm serious. They deal with cows. I'm, I'm almost sensitive, so. I've literally pulled ticks off of cousins. Like, what the fuck? What about you? I'm here burning it like that. Mama. Mama. Why are we here? 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 Uh, immediately. Immediately when I got from St. Louis, I was like, oh, we could do St. Louis. Then we start driving and I'm like, hold on, hold on. Field. Tree. Field. Where are the houses in the mall? And he's like, oh, no. No, feel, tree, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, country. You get a lot of like snakes and okay. leeches. My uncle has a pond on his farm. His farm is 55 acres. We have to ride, yes. The pond has got leeches. My cousin got thrown in on 4th of July and came out with leeches. I was like, oh hell, I am done with y'all. Y'all country people, you eat nasty food, you talk nasty, you chew tobacco, you spit it. I'm cool. I would rather deal with the person who smokes a Newport. Leave me alone. Because them are the strongest cigarettes. I can't deal with Newport. I'm like, oh, get, the, get your fiberglass and all that away from me. I'm cool. Okay. An anaerobic bacterial infection. What does anaerobic mean? Aerobic and anaerobic organism. So anaerobic means it's unoxygenated organism. Okay? As the ER nurse assesses a puncture wound on the foot, she realizes that the most likely type of infection in this wound would be, okay, it's a puncture wound on the foot. So, there's a very small hole at the bottom of the foot. Do you think it's going to be an aerobic bacteria or an anaerobic bacteria? Anaerobic. It's going to be an anaerobic bacteria infection that they have. Because it doesn't need oxygen, alright? Yay, almost done. Okay, a solvent removes the stain from a gram positive bacteria. A solvent. The nurse explains that one way to identify specific bacteria is staining a specimen to direct treatment options. A gram positive bacteria is one that, when introduced to a solvent, loses the color of the stain, changes the color of the stain, retains the color of the stain, breaks up the color in small clots. How do you spell solvent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It retains the stain. A gram-positive bacteria is one that, when introduced to the solvent, retains the color of the stain. Okay? What the heck is that? Why do we have to know that? Because that's how you do a C and S. You take the bacteria, you put it in a Petri dish, and you start painting them different colors, purple, blue, pink. And if they retain those colors, then that means that's what type of bacteria it is. But if it doesn't retain purple or blue, but it's pink, then it's a certain, it's a different. It's not strep, it's staph. It's not protozoa, it's fungi. That's how it works. Okay? Okay. Anthrax is contracted by breathing in the spores.
anthrax is what type? It's bioterrorism, okay? The nurse instructing a bioterrorism class outlines which of the following methods by anthrax can be transmitted. Spread from person to person, entry through microscopic skin punctures, breathing in the spores, exposure to the animals. Breathing in the spores. Okay. When it comes to the word vector, this is a living thing. It's a living thing. Now on this living thing is some dormant form of a bacteria. The nurse describing a vector to a patient gives the example of okay. So it's a living thing with a dormant form of a bacteria. When you see the word dur dormant, that means they have no signs and symptoms of being sick. It means they're just harboring, like harboring a fugitive in their system. Not that you did the crime, but he's staying with you. Okay? So, the nurse describing a vector to a patient who gives an example of child with measles giving it to his sister. No, because he's actively sick. Woman with syphilis infecting her partner? No, because she's actively sick. Dog whose bite causes rabies? No, because if his bite causing rabies, he's already sick with rabies. Tick whose bite causes Lyme disease? Yes, because a tick will never have Lyme disease, but they carry Lyme disease. That was tricky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. That was tricky. In order for a dog to give you rabies, they have to actively be foaming at the mouth, have the locked jaw, have the yeah. crazy personality. So they actively have to be sick with rabies to give you rabies. But a tick will never come down with Lyme disease. They can only give it to people. So ticks with Lyme disease? Mm-hmm. Ticks with Lyme disease. Okay. The nurse determines with an audiovisual how a patient contracted malaria, which is caused by it is caused by a mosquito. But what does the mosquito have on it? it starts with a P. <laughs> Bacteria, virus, fungus, protozoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's all 37 facts, guys. P R O T O Z A. And what is that? What was the question? Uh, malaria. What is it caused by? It's caused by a mosquito that has the protozoa. And we are done. So you guys are ready for Saturday and Monday test. So if you come here tomorrow, we'll be doing pharmacology final review.